Arsenal versus Spurs. The key fixture of the weekend. The final one we're going to be previewing. Arsenal 2.45, draw 3.7, Spurs 3, London Derby. Arsenal fan, can they beat Spurs? You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Uh, they did <laughs> last season. They beat Spurs 4-2 at the Emirates. And actually were very unlucky uh, not to beat Tottenham at Wembley. It was one all. Aubameyang missed a penalty right at the end. And Harry Kane scored a penalty, which he won even though he was offside. So Arsenal had the better of Spurs last time around. Mm -hmm. Whether they will again this season, difficult to call, really. Tottenham looked very uh, poor in that defeat to Newcastle last time out. Pochettino's got a real problem with creativity if he keeps Christian Eriksen on the bench. Eriksen's angling for a move away before the transfer window slams shut. And he hasn't featured uh, in the last couple of games. So that, that could cause them a problem. They're lacking a bit of pace down the flanks as well with, uh, with the fullbacks gone. So, yeah, they've got a couple of injury problems too, Chair Tottenham. So it's all, it's all in Arsenal's favour, really. Home advantage, the crowd will be well up for it. And they have looked strong going forwards. My bet was just uh, the both teams to score in the over 2.5 goals. I really think both teams are going to score in this one. Harry Kane has nine goals in nine games against Arsenal. And, you know, you saw David Luiz at the weekend against Le Liverpool. He was absolutely terrible. And we'll probably see more of that from him. But I think Arsenal can definitely hurt Spurs going forwards. Alabama Yang's been scoring goals for fun at the moment. And uh, I think they'll fare far better than they did against Liverpool. Uh, so both teams to score in overs for me at odds of 1.8. Mm. Talking to Flash yeah. before the uh, video began, I, it kind of made me think maybe Arsenal can win this one. So I hate, I hate betting on Arsenal because it always jinxes them. But I might go for half a stake, two and a half grand on, um, on Arsenal to win. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half grand. Yeah, I know. Two and a half grand. It's a lot, isn't it? It's better than a match. What would you what what are you going for? I'll go for Arsenal. Um, oh. uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've wrote both teams to score. Yeah, I can see that happening. I mean, Arsenal, 2.45, uh, the home side, goals in them. I think this game's won and lost in midfield. And at the moment, Arsenal seem to be on the front foot because they've got so much pace in front of them. I think that I've also wrote red card. I've... Um, I think maybe last season I've got a red card in this game. Um, I can s both games had red cards last season, both both derbies. Yeah, I, 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 I just see red card in it as well. Mm. But Arsenal 2.45, I, I just look and I just think, are Arsenal going to score? Yes. Are Tottenham going to score? Maybe. So I'm already leaning Arsenal. Are Arsenal going to score more than one? Yes. And then I'm saying, oh, Tottenham are going to definitely score two. Then I don't see that. Um, so everything points towards a home win here. And I saw a lot of discipline from, uh, from Arsenal last week. They, they defended and they tucked in. They were tight. It was only the 45th minute goal by Matip. Then the floodgates were open. Luis got isolated because Arsenal had to go and get something out of the game. And any team that tries to do that against Liverpool are going to get the same treatment as Arsenal did. I think this, I think Arsenal may be... Half a yard to a yard quicker, mm -hmm. near enough, all over the park. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Going for that Arsenal win. But Martin, it's because you're you worried if, whether it's your heart or your head that would play that bet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. If I was going with my head, I would go Arsenal win. Uh, it's just I've seen Arsenal flop in many big <laughs> games against top six rivals, so it makes me a bit wary, and I don't want to jinx them. But uh, I'll go for it. I'll go for it. I reckon really? Arsenal can there's very, there are very few. Um, in, it's a natural thing with English football fans mm. that they don't have blind faith. They'll support their team forevermore, home away, across the seas, and everything. But as soon as you say, "Do you think you're going to win?" They're like, "Ooh, I hope so." <laughs> and it's always that way because you just know because you've been a supporter for so long that they will let you down the one time you turn up and expect them to win.